Polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, is one of the most common hormonal disorders affecting one in every 10 women. However, with proper treatment, a large percentage of women with PCOS are able to conceive. Hi, I'm Dr. Sherazad, and in today's video, we'll explore how to maximize your chances of conception if you have PCOS. So what exactly is PCOS? In women of reproductive age, ovaries release an egg every month during a menstrual cycle. This is known as ovulation. PCOS is an imbalance of hormonal levels that can cause you not to ovulate. If an egg is not released, the sperm cannot fertilize the egg and pregnancy cannot happen. Not ovulating is the number one cause of infertility. Now, how do you know if you have PCOS? PCOS is diagnosed based off something called the Rotterdam Criteria. Someone has PCOS if they meet two out of the three following criteria. The first criterion is irregular cycles or no ovulation. Normal cycles last anywhere between 21 and 35 days. But if you have cycles shorter or longer than this interval, it indicates ovulation dysfunction or no ovulation. Most patients with PCOS have periods that are more than 35 days apart or no periods at all. Your doctor may look at your progesterone levels to check if you actually ovulate or not. The second criterion for PCOS is an elevated level of male hormones or androgens. All women have some circulating amount of hormones like testosterone and DHEAS, but an elevated level of these hormones can cause an imbalance in reproductive hormones such as estrogen. Elevated levels of male hormones can result in typical male characteristics like excess hair growth, male pattern baldness, or acne. You can check your blood work to see if there are elevated levels of testosterone and DHEAS. The third criterion for PCOS is seeing cysts on the ovaries via an ultrasound. If you take an ultrasound scan of your ovaries, you will normally find multiple follicles. Follicles are the sacs which contain your eggs. But the presence of more than 12 follicles in the ovary, each measuring about 2 to 9 millimeters in diameter, is one of the criteria to be met to say someone has PCOS. The name PCOS comes from this criterion, as poly means many and cystic refers to the cysts. A doctor will need to rule out other disorders before confirming the diagnosis of PCOS. For example, a thyroid disorder or high prolactin. Once you know you have PCOS, it is important that you manage it with the right lifestyle changes and know when to seek treatment. About 40 to 85% of women with PCOS are overweight. This is because fat cells release estrogen, which can disturb your hormonal balance and result in PCOS. Studies show that losing 5 to 10% of your body weight can help control PCOS and aid in getting pregnant. Many times, the underlying cause of PCOS is insulin resistance, which accounts for 70 to 95% cases of PCOS in obese patients, and 30 to 75% of cases in people who are not overweight or have lean PCOS. Sugar, simple carbs, and unhealthy fats cause your glucose levels to shoot up. Your pancreas in turn spikes your insulin levels, leading to an increased insulin resistance. A diet rich in whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, fruits, and vegetables can help prevent insulin spikes. Exercise is also very important for those with PCOS. Studies show that 150 minutes of exercise per week, specifically with 90 minutes of moderate to high intensity aerobic exercise improves insulin resistance and PCOS symptoms. This could be swimming, cycling, hiking, yoga, or dancing. Exercise not only improves physical health, but also helps release endorphins in your body and keeps you relaxed. In general, a low stress body naturally restores a hormonal balance and gets your reproductive system back on track. If you have PCOS, it's important to know that you are in fact ovulating. PCOS is the most common cause of anovulation. Approximately 90 to 95% of anovulatory women seeking treatment for infertility have PCOS. Physicians typically use either a series of ultrasound scans to see your follicle growth or do a progesterone blood test to check if you ovulate. Based on the diagnosis, the doctor may prescribe you fertility-inducing drugs or any other form of treatment. You can also track ovulation at home. If you get one anovulatory cycle, just try again during the next cycle. But if your next one is also anovulatory, you should consult your doctor. Even if you do ovulate, it can be difficult to track fertile days if you have PCOS. Women usually turn to ovulation tests for this, but these type of tests may give you a false result if you have PCOS compounding the problem. 
This is because most ovulation tests don't measure the actual value of your hormones. If your body's hormonal levels have surpassed a set value called the threshold, then these tests can give you a positive result. While these kits may work if your hormonal values are average, it doesn't work if your baseline hormone production is higher or lower. With PCOS, your hormonal levels are naturally elevated, giving you false positive results with a typical ovulation test. That's where an ETO comes in. Unlike other fertility trackers that measure just one or two hormones and just say yes or no, Anito is a one-of-a-kind fertility monitor that helps you track all four key fertility hormones at home in less than 10 minutes. With Anito, you can find accurate values of FSH, estrogen, both alpha LH and beta LH, and progesterone metabolite PDG, which tells you if and when you have ovulated. Inito tells you when to test so you stay updated about your fertile window and maximize your chances of conception by trying to conceive when you hit peak fertility. Check in with your hormone levels anytime and track your cycle trends with detailed charts and numbers. You can share your results with medical experts or nutritionists to track your progress and tick off your health goals. In summary, if you have PCOS, in most cases, you don't need complex treatments. The key is to not worry or lose hope, but follow these simple tips, which have proven to increase the chances of conception with PCOS. This is Dr. Sherazad, and I wish you success in your conception journey. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for future videos about fertility.